It's probably fair to say that the word super is somewhat used in motorcycling circles. Back in 1968, October to be precise, Japan made a surprise in the biking world with the launch of the Honda CB750 Superbike, which changed the face of motorcycling forever. The sport would rapidly grow into being the favorite of many countries in Europe and Asia, adopting motorbike riding as a big sport. Slowly by slowly, the sport ventured into African continent with the likes of Nigeria and South Africa being the first to adopt the new sport. With the African community used to old native sports like football and athletics, motorbike riding would hardly find its place in the society. Years down the line, and bike riding found its way in Kenya. It would pick up slowly as a hobby to many enthusiasts before growing into a significant sport. The story of motorbike riding is one that entails a lot of activities. We visit one of Kenya's finest bike riders who wants a bike bazaar to get to know more about the bike riding culture. Bike Rift group of bikes is one of the many places where the biking culture has found a comfort zone. Under the umbrella of the Superbike Association, riders get to enjoy the art and freedom of the slowly growing sport. The previously male-dominated sport has of late seen women get absorbed into embracing bike riding as a sport and in particular as a hobby. We have actually prepared, uh, started a series on road safety and I will share a clip with the family. It's a lady who rides and she has a baby. So for us, riding is very personal. How much fun it may look while riding on these bikes, Edwin Taylor, one of Kenya's prolific riders, tells us that precautions have to be in place for one to be associated with the bike riding society. <laughs> safety is what comes first. At Bikeraft, we really take safety very seriously. So we don't believe in people riding without helmets, without gloves, without knee guns, without a proper jacket. With an old generation taking on the activities of the sport, it remains a motivation to the growing family of Bike Riders Association. Edwin remains optimistic on the future of the sport. We're coming up with a uh, system and a school in time. And we're going to offer the same proper riding skills. For anyone who admires joining the riding world, then you have to dig deep in your pocket in securing one of these spectacular rides. For the CC bike, it will be around 450. 480,000 or 400. And if you're lucky again, could be 380, 350. You understand? A 600cc will be half a million, 600, 720, depending on the accessories the bike comes with. The rapid rise of the sport tells a story of Kenyans drawing love. With the involvement of kids in motorbike racing, the future remains bright for a country's once forgotten sport. Freeze Sambu, KUTV Sports.